welcome to Frontier Community Access Television broadcast of Frontier Regional against Southwick. We're going to get it right to the starting lineups here in the National Anthem, and then we'll brief you on this game. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Rams from Southwick High School. The member schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. First, for Southwick, at forward, number three, Kathleen Shea. At forward, number 15, Julia Gardner. We won't report on this, too. At center, number 22, Caroline Clark. That's a clear the car, yeah. At guard, number 10, Laura Worcester. <laughs> and at guard, number 13, Ken O'Leary. <laughs> and now for Frontier. At forward, number 20, Marie Diamond. At forward, number 13, Tori Scott. <laughs> At center, number 24, Alexa Boyden. <laughs> At guard, number 4, Ariana Walker. <laughs> and at guard, number 5, Ella Dean. After the smoke from Ryan Sanderson, the officials for tonight's game. Our Dave Whitehead and Billy Joe Robidoux. Will you please rise for the play of our national anthem? Oops. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. So this will be a matchup of the 8-3 Frontier Red Hawks, really riding a hot streak. And Southwick comes in at 4-6, four, four but they've lost some close games to some good teams. For Frontier leading the way on the season is the senior duo of Lexa Boyden down low and Ella Dean at the guard spot. Uh, Boyden's got 40 field goals on the season, Dean's got 36. Leading the way for Southwick is Emily Martin with 21 and Hannah Burke with 20 field goals on the season. But they've got Four other players with over 10 field goals, so a balanced scoring attack coming from Southwick. And you know, on paper, it looks like Frontier might have the edge tonight, but there's a reason they play the games. Yeah, this matchup should be uh, definitely challenging for both sides. And Boyden takes the tip. They set up their offense. Out to Dean for three, and that's good. A good start. Starting off strong. 21 of her field goals on the season coming in have been three, so definitely got to look for her beyond the arc. And good defense by Ariana Walker fielding that askew pass. Over to Demon, the sophomore. Over to Walker on the other side. Here goes Speth. Over to Dean. Two dribbles. And another three. And that'll be just off. This Frontier team's a good three-point sh shooting team, but sometimes they tend to get a little carried away beyond the arc. And yep. They've got some good good players in the post, too, who might have better looks in there. Yeah, they certainly uh, went too far on the shot clock when they decided to put that up. But if uh, it's open and Demon likes it, you know, it's not a terrible shot. Because she can't hit that outside shot. That's a three from number three, 
Kathleen Shea. Frontier putting, putting on some pressure here. And that's gonna be a turnover. And now Southwick's gonna look to push the ball in transition. Three from Southwick. They're liking they're liking the shot behind the arc early as well. And there's an offensive rebound. You know St. Marty Sanderson will not like to see that one. No, and you know you said uh Martin and Burke were the two leading scorers or field goal uh, getters on the Southwood team, but neither of them seem to be on the court right now. Hmm. Interesting. Southwick really settling for those shots on the outside. Not trying to get anything inside, and that'll be a reach and foul on number 10. Be Mora Worcester. Yeah, so I see number five on their bench, Martin. And 35 as well, Burke. Hmm. So they might have some firepower coming off the bench tonight. Yeah, interesting tactic by the Southwick coach. Or the Mass Live stats are messed up, but another possibility. Down uh, to Boyden, dribbles it off the foot. Yeah, Boyden had good position there and could have done something dangerous to that defense. Maybe no need to put the ball on the ground, just go with the drop step and get it out. A lot of turnovers early for both these teams. Maybe some nerves setting in. Mm -hmm. Southwick not really being able to set up any set offense and get something inside or get any type of inside touches right now. Frontier looking for a little high-low with Speth and Boyden. And there's another turnover. Oh, good. good contest by Speth, really hustled back on the play. Yeah, good job not committing a foul there. Not sure where the foul was on that, but should be going to the line for two. Yeah, Demon seeing a hold of the hoop and taking it. So Demon is just one of many young players on this Red Hawks team. Who seem to have a very bright future ahead of them. Yes, they do. Missed the first. Here comes Olivia Dean and Amelia Sobieski, two freshmen into the game, who Sanderson has trusted with a lot of big minutes in during this season. Quick 6 nothing lead for Frontier. Five minutes to go in the first. Mm -hmm. And here's Southwick, once again, passing around the perimeter. And there's something going to the hoop, but good defense by the Hawks. Yeah, we've seen Frontier it being able to shut down the middle of the lane a lot this year, so. And oh, there's a three. That's number 10, Mora Worcester. And Sanderson yelling shooter as she had the ball, and it seems like his girls just weren't on the same page. Yeah, definitely a good looking shot there. Good hustle by Boyden. And that'll be a jump ball. Going south its way. So yeah, Mora Worcester has 18 field goals in the season, seven of which have been threes, so they gotta know where she is out there. And number 45 for Southwick coming in. That'll be Caitlin Hazeltine. There's another three. It's up and no good. Oh, but good offensive board. Look like a foul to me. Not gonna get it. I don't know where the jump is there. <laughs> it's like uh, a Southwick player ever had possession <laughs> of that ball. <laughs> or, or a Frontier player. <laughs> over to Dean, over to other Dean. Full court pass swing. to Demon. Oof. Yeah, that's sloppy defense. Yeah, you gotta play with your gotta play with your legs, not your arms. So here come some substitutions. Number five and 35. Are they the scorers? One of them is. Yeah, Emily Martin, number five. Oh, and 35, both of them. Full court pass to Dean. And Hannah Burke, number 35, coming in. Only a middle scorer. Wow. Three, 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 three. 
Good move inside by Boyden, but just bounces around. And Dean able to come up with it. Frontier, they've got some time on that shot clock, but they'll take the quick shot. That's a good looking good. Good looking possession there. Getting the ball from, from the outside, working it in to Sobieski for the J. Yeah, wide open in the middle. It's a great shot for Sobieski. Boyden outlets the pass to Demond. And Dean being swarmed right now. Good bounce pass. Open three. And that's a good look out by Boyden. And a good offensive board by her. She'll go to the hoop. Right up, and that's good. And there's two. Frontier now with a seven point lead. Of course, Southwick has a rich history of girls basketball with Rebecca Lobo. Oh, yeah. UConn. Massachusetts legend. Yeah, UConn great. Did she score 2,000 points in high school? Yeah, I believe she did. Just an unbelievable player. Went to the WNBA and now a well-known uh, analyst on ESPN. So. Mm, one of the very uh, few 2,000 point club members in this entire Western Mass area ever. Yeah, quite a big name hanging in those rafters in Southwick. Yes. Goes Dean over to Walker. Good look inside. Yeah, they're really doing a good job moving the ball. It's not sticking right now. Nope, got some quick hard passes. Dean didn't look to be quite set on that, but they'll get the offensive board. They Into spell. Spell. It's a Way good mid-range, but... Here comes Southwick. Southwick will keep on passing around the perimeter, looking for something inside. There's been some pretty similar approaches on the offensive end, but the only difference is Frontier's been able to get it into their bigs, and Southwick simply has not. Mm -hmm. Southwick has had to settle for almost all outside shots tonight. So the Red Hawks with eight wins, looking for two more to qualify for the postseason. Definitely looking to do some damage there, I would think. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely where they're looking ahead to right now. And we'd like to shout out Frontier Community Access Television for all they do for our local sports. Recently, we've been seeing some live streams of boys basketball games, which I know have been very popular, very exciting. So if you can't make it out to some of the games, log on to YouTube, go right to the FCAT channel, and you can watch a game live. Yeah, it's uh, quite handy if you're not able to get out to the game and want to see some good old Western Mass boys basketball. Yeah, some great commentary, too, by the likes of Chris Collins uh, and some others. Bobby C. Mm -hmm, guys have been doing it for a while. Yeah. Nothing but respect. <laughs> real recognize real. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, Southwick. And there's an open look. And the ball will stay with Southwick. But four seconds left on the shot clock because that shot did not hit the rim. So they'll need something quick. Yeah, good looking shot for him. Just came up short there. Oh, just got to take. And now it'll be Frontier ball. Yes. I think the first look was better over there, but she might not be a shooter, so. Mm. That was definitely a great look, whether it was uh, intentionally drawn up to get, get that look or not. Dean gets it over to her younger sister. A little spin, back out. Walker now Walker wants it. will try. A little strong. Southwick with a lane. You know, it really seems to me this Frontier girls basketball team is at its best when their post players are getting touches. So I just don't understand why they're popping these threes early in the shot clock. Yeah, I mean, if they get inside, it really opens the outside up more than any passing exactly. around the perimeter could do. Exactly. And we've already seen it tonight. The post touches leading to good looks from outside and post. They're, they've got good post scores too, so. 
Church Sanderson would like to see them be a little more patient and work the ball inside a little more. Yeah, Frontier, you know, they're playing some good defense, but while they're playing good defense, they also need to play good offense. And right now, only a six-point lead is not uh, sealing anything right now. No, not at all. And I'm Southwick, they played a rough quarter here, but they find themselves only down two possessions, potentially, so. Yeah, when Frontier's uh, looking at an offense like that, they really need to take advantage of it and just escape as quickly as possible. Walker gets it over the beam. Back around. They get that to post touch. And Boyden will go to the right. Ooh, just off. off. Southwick will go into the half court set. We're under 50 seconds to go here. Once again, failing to penetrate the zone of Frontier. Oh, a, oh. oh. Good hands by Boyden to tap it away. Yeah, just can't hang on to it. So. Maybe look for them to keep it, keep it for the last shot. Sanderson's yelling out to be smart. Yeah, this is definitely a last shot possession here. Yeah, you don't want to see him get a, get a look. Uh, yeah. That's a, that's not, not a good play there. Turnover with just 10 seconds left. They could have ran out the clock completely. Now Southwick's going to get a shot here. Yeah, and they'll need it quick. Oh, they get a good look inside. And ah. just missed at the buzzer. Yeah, the putback, very close. So at the end of one, it's 10-4 Frontier. Some balanced scoring. We've seen Sobieski get a bucket. Dean hit a three. Boyden's got a bucket. And then we saw Demon hit a foul shot, so. You got four uh, Frontier players on the board already. Yeah. That's what they've been doing all season, a balanced scoring attack. Yeah, definitely. And it really helps when you can have uh, multiple people on the court put in the hoop and you don't have to rely on two or three players. So I imagine Marty Sanderson's over there yelling about his team's offensive performance rather than the defensive performance because they were pretty solid out there on defense. Mm -hmm. Good first quarter. Really not allowing much inside and keeping all their shots up beyond the perimeter. But on the offensive end, uh, just uh, trouble executing, really. Yeah, a lot of turnovers. Mm -hmm. Definitely that. A lot of missed opportunities to get a good shot. So Southwick will inbound here. Quick three, and that's good. Very quick by number 13, McKenna Leary. Yes. And now we've just got a one possession game here. It's felt like Frontier's been in control, but the score doesn't reflect that. Yeah, Southwick is coming pretty strong out of the gates, too. Really intense defense. Nearly an and one for Tori Speth. Yeah, a little too intense there. She'll go to the line for two. The first one's perfect. Nothing but nylon. Second shot is up and no good, but Boyden's there to clean it up. That's what she does all year. To bread and butter. And now back to a six point game. Front turn needs a defensive stop here. There's another three. Oh, the same and she's getting hot. Leary, senior. She's loving that side right now. All smiles from Southwick after that shot. Yeah, already uh, equaling their, uh, or not doing better than their first quarter score yeah. effort less than a minute in. Yeah, with two quick threes. That's a result of good shooting, but also a bit of a lack of closeouts from the Frontier side. Mm. Speth had a look inside, decided to pass it up. Now Walker will try again. No good short. And Boyden cleans it up. 
How many times are we going to say that tonight? Yeah, good job on Boyd and not giving up on the play. There's Smith. Dean spots it up. And that's good. Nice shot out to Todd. That's two threes for her. The vast majority of her field goals come from beyond the arc, so Southwick should know that and maybe start guarding her. And it's the real team eager there. Dean will dribble it up to the center of the court, over to Olivia Dean. Gets it to Demons. Boyden tried to get it over. There's Steph, going left as usual, and she turns it over. Here comes an attack. Wisely pulls it out, there were no numbers. Another three. And there is a, oh, she's going to pull it up. Two Southwick players, totally unboxed out, right under the hoop. Easy putback. That's number 30, Kayla Andrade. Oh, and now Dean having some trouble getting up the court. Here's Speth. Speth with the pull-up jumper. Yeah, and that's another good mid-range look, but not the execution they needed. Yeah, Speth has a good pull-up jumper. She doesn't tend to use it too much, but I think... I think there's a lot of opportunities where she's got the space and she decides to drive instead, but I think it's a good idea for, for her to take those pull-ups. Yeah, I mean, it's so useful to have a player that you can just get it into inside and really uh, just totally screw up the defense. And I mean, if they can take advantage of her being there and get some quick shots and some quick passes off that, they can open up a lot and start getting some nice mid-range buckets. Number three. These are good looks. The Frontier players are not getting hands up on three-point shooters right now. Yeah, number three has been uh, putting yes. them up all night. Shea, but none of them have fallen for her. Olivia Dean with the three-point attempt and another turnover. Southwick struggling on the defensive glass. Frontier probably got seven or eight offensive rebounds already. Marty Sanderson yelling at Demon, shoot the ball. Looked like she had an open look, but opted to not take it, and that hurt him there. Turnovers are definitely something to watch. They've got at least five now, and those are just wasted possessions. And there's a look. Good job, Kathleen. Good work. They're going to get Demon for a push-off, I guess. Yeah, she was boxing out. Uh, one of these Southwood girls, and it seemed like her box out was just a little too aggressive for that coach, for that ref. I think a lot of coaches were pleased with that box out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now it's going back the other way with a shove. Ref certainly not allowing a whole lot of leeway tonight. No, no. Use, yeah, normally you see that in the second half, but. Yeah, they've been uh, quick to call any discrepancies so far. Demon gets it to Dean. Dean with the open look. And that's Monica. good. Third three-pointer. She is on fire right now. That'll give Frontier a seven-point lead. Dean's already got nine of those 19 points. Yeah, just great outside shooting by the senior point guard. Some nights you're just feeling it, and it looks like she's feeling it tonight. So Southwick's coach got to... Got to tell them. Oh, well, they should already know. I mean, Dean's a threat beyond the arc, and they might want to guard her. Mm -hmm. And the fouls as well, really uh, in the favor of the Red Hawks, with six being called on Southwick already. Frontier, or Southwick already in the bonus, and Frontier only with two. Yeah, you know, we could shout conspiracies like they're talking about with the Patriots only committing one penalty in that Jaguars game, but... Yeah, I mean, it seemed to be an equally aggressive game tonight. I haven't seen one, one team be more, excessively more aggressive than the other. Yeah, Southwick does have to be careful now, though, with Frontier in the bonus already. And we've seen that they can hit their free throws. Yeah, now they're shooting the rest of the way here. So running the point now is Maya Daly.
There is Daly. Good spin move. And there's an open-ish look. Catholics really seems to rely on that three-point shot. And it's, it might be betraying them right now. Demon looking long for Dean, but just a little too high. Yep, that's another one of those turnovers that's kind of keeping Southwick in the game right now. Yeah, those are certainly building up. And a lot of them unforced as well. Yeah. That's what will really frustrate you as a coach. Mm -hmm. And there's there a shooter. Is. Got lucky on that one. So they must have missed at least five consecutive threes now. They've just gone ice cold from beyond the arc. Dean will take it all the way. Good Great look. take. Great take. Much better than a contested three there. A strong left hand, too. And now the lead up to nine, the highest it's been tonight. Olivia Dean's definitely got a bright future. Only a freshman. And another travel. A lot of travels tonight. And it doesn't seem that the refs are being uh, overly picky on those either. No, not at all. That might have been a travel right there. Yeah. yeah. Got to put the, put the ball on the floor before you start making moves. Here's Dean again. Ooh, maybe could have taken it herself. Yep, you have seven seconds left on the shot clock. They need someone going to the hoop because this Southwick defense on the perimeter is just really tough. Good Dean. contested shot. Great defensive uh, possession by Southwick. Yeah, they've got to be excited about that one. Here comes Daly. Gets in the middle, right back out. You just don't get the presence that the interior players from Southwick have much, can do much with the ball when they get it down there. And Dean going all the way. She just found herself a little too far into the basket right there. Southwick's charging, there's a three. Looks good. Ooh. Cash money. Yeah, you could tell that was going on. Yeah, that's number 10, Kathleen Shea, her second three of the, day, three of the game. Sobieski with the quick turnaround. And Speth able to recover it. Another offensive rebound for the Hawks. Yeah, great hustle play. Sobieski will look inside again. Southwick not doing a great job boxing, boxing out right now. No. And Sanderson is not pleased with that last three. And now will this be a one and one or yes it will be. I think they were showing man defense in that last possession. And Sanderson seemed to say to Walker. And that another near oh nearly another offense. Oh. And it'll stay on this side of the court. Southwick not able to catch a break. Relentless pursuit of the, ba of the basketball from the frontier right now, and Southwick just not, just not putting in the same effort not in their box outs. There's Olivia Dean spots it up, just off. <laughs> but another offensive rebound. You know, and the second half is coming to a close. If Southwick wants to get any closer to frontier, then they probably should get the ball back. You gotta think the possession here is is about 60-40 maybe. And, and this, I'll stay over here. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be a fresh shot clock too. It's hard to score when you don't have the ball. That's the bottom line here. Yeah, and Frontier has done a really great job of keeping it. Dean gets it to Dean. Over to Demon. Back to Dean. Gets down to the post. There's Sobieski. Sobieski. Might have gotten fouled, but they got the offensive rebound. What a surprise. <laughs> and Speth finishes the job. How many chances was that for Frontier? Oh, there's a three. Five. So they're living and dying beyond the arc right now. That was Hannah Burke, number 35. Yeah, and only five points right now. About just what it was heading into the second quarter. Have they scored a two-pointer yet? Yes, uh, one put back. 
Okay, so they have one put back, a foul shot, and then five threes. Mm -hmm. So Sanderson cannot be happy with it. And South looking good. At Some great hands by the guy in the broadcasting booth. Yeah, I don't know who did that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that ball was coming out of nowhere. <laughs> and somehow it just stopped. <laughs> so now Southwick might want the final shot here. Trailing only by five, despite really not not boxing out on the... There's another three. That's a new ball. And Ten seconds left. And Southwick's going to end up with the ball here. So it looks like they'll have the last shot of this first half. Down by five. Hopefully get it to within a one possession game heading into halftime. Oh, they're swinging it around to the inbounder. Fails to they catch it shot. clean. They need a shot, they need a shot. Uh, yeah. Gotta be frustrating for a coach when they can't even get a shot out there. So the halftime score is 23-18. Ella Dean leading all scorers with nine points. Yeah, we'll be back with the rest of our halftime report in a few minutes. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont. All online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Hello and welcome to the halftime report for this game. We are joined by sideline and crowd reporter Kaylin Evans. So, what have you been hearing in the crowd tonight? What have you been seeing on the court? Uh, today, um, Southwick has gotten some pretty good shots up in the first half. Um, not the best um, open looks as Frontier's playing some good, what looks to be. Um, matchup zone defense working yeah. pretty pretty well for them no doubt uh, for the Red Hawks they <laughs> seem to be doing a pretty good job um, on the offensive end getting some good rebounds um, not turning the ball over too many times which is obviously you know key factor All right, and what, what's the vibe up there in the crowd tonight not not the biggest fan section we've seen on the year no, but no and I, I see you up there rallying the troops so uh, yeah 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 what, no, no. What are you hearing up there? What's the vibe? Well, you know, as always, we'd like to see a little bigger crowd, but um, as for any game, you know, you try to get into it as much as possible. And uh, what, what would be your advice for each of these teams heading forward to the second half as a basketball player yourself? As, um, for Southwick, uh, just try to move the ball around, work it around the zone, drive and kick, and find the open holes in the zone. And for Frontier... Uh, keep protecting the ball, moving the ball well, and just just shooting, shooting it well. All right, and last but not least, what would you rate this dancing dancing show at, at the midcourt? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Absolutely. All right, glad to have you on. Enjoy the second half, Kaylin. Appreciate it. You too. So now Carson Carey will give you the rundown on the stats of the first the first half. All right, after an exciting first half with Frontier only up five on Southwick Rams, we have Ella Dean leading the Frontier Redhawks with nine points off of three three-pointers. We've got Tori Speth with three points off of her one field goal and one free throw. Sobieski with two. Olivia Dean with two. Demon with one from her free throw. And Lexa Boyden with six off of three great inside shots. All right, so all of that has resulted in a 23-18 lead for Frontier and one well-earned piece of pizza for Carson Carey. Mm-hmm, and I'd say it is well-earned. <laughs> so
So looking ahead to the second half, you heard a little bit of what Kalen had to say. What, what's your take on it? What do you think Mike Sanderson Sanders team right now is they're still in the locker room, even though Southwick's come out? Uh, you know, after this first half, we saw not a great offensive effort by Southwick, but they had decent luck uh, beyond that perimeter, and they were able to put in the three when they really needed it. So I think the emphasis should really be on the offensive end for the Red Hawks and keep on trying to stretch this lead and push farther away from this uh, undisciplined Southwick defense, continuing to take advantage of these offensive rebounds and poor boxing out by the Southwick defenders. Yeah, I'm sure you do agree the talent here is far in favor of Frontier, but we've got a five-point game. Mm -hmm, it really seems that way, and it must just be so frustrating for Sanderson to watch his uh, far more talented team just struggle to really put this game in the bag. Yeah. A big part of this could be the three-point effort of Southwick. They've got five of them. And that, that's obviously their premier way of scoring the basketball. Yeah, and uh, I mean, if Frontier stops those three-pointers, gets full closeouts, especially on uh, number 13, who really came out hot, Leary, then this game becomes even more stretched out than it already is. So here come the Red Hawks onto the court. Mm -hmm. I think uh, whoever takes it out hard in this third quarter right off the back is going to see themselves having the upper hand in this game. In some other sports news, culture news, icon news, Kobe Bryant nominated for an Oscar for his short film. Ah, love to see guys like that doing something outside of uh, basketball. Well, his short film is about basketball, but... <laughs> well, outside of, on the court. <laughs> yeah. Definitely good for him. All the Oscar nominees came out today. Should be exciting as usual. Another sports news, the Celtics rival, Cleveland Clavaliers, seem to be dealing with some issues in the locker room. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas uh, definitely not happy with the way the team's going, even referring to the Celtics as a better environment. Yeah. A lot of rumors about maybe Kevin Love seeing, seeing the end of his time in Cleveland. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas uh, led talks with that as well. What do you think about Kevin Love? Do you think he still has uh, the same influence? And he's a baller, man. Yeah. That, that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, he's he's valuable on that uh, three-point shot. I don't know what's happening off the court, but on the court, there aren't there aren't many guys I would want over Kevin Love. Yeah, he's certainly a legend. So it'll be white ball to start the second half. Dean will get it into Walker. A little more pressure right away from South D on the ball handler. Yeah, they're and right up in their face and it pays off already. So that was a deflection. Dean will inbound. A lot of times on these inbound plays, Dean ends up curling one way or the other for the shot. And they'll look to put it into Speth. Doesn't like what she sees. Demon absolutely getting hounded on that corner. Some good ball movement. They're also blocking the passing lane, so already I think we're seeing more intensity from Southwick. And it will result in the ball staying with Frontier, but only three seconds on the shot clock. Mm, they need a shot quick, and I hope they all know that. I think Sanderson conveyed the message. Shout out to Walker, over to Demon for three. And that's air ball. And that'll be a head tamper. Yep. So a good start, maybe a momentum switcher for Southwick, knowing that they can stop this team and get a rebound. Mm. Although they didn't get a rebound, actually. No, they did not, but still great defense, not allowing anything. Quick three, nobody boxed her out. Oh, misses the layup. Oh, but she gets it back again. Oh, my God. That is number three, Kathleen Shea. Demon with the look. Not falling for her tonight. Yeah, she's been cold. Here comes Shea. Looking to push the ball. Looking to get inside. And a foul will be called. Yeah, I think that's a good call. And that'll be on Frontier's Boyden. And then we got a three-point game here. Here comes the inbound. Get it down low. No good. 
Demon gets the rebound. Might have been some contact on that shot, but yeah. the ref is going to let him play. A lot of physicality from both sides, though, even after the shot. Ooh, there's going to be another turnover. Nope, oh. but they'll stay here. Who's it off of? Uh, it seemed like it was off of Boyden, but I guess they saw a tip maybe after that. Hmm. Ball goes to Demon. Back to Walker. Walker looking around, sees Demon on the corner, who's looking inside. With good defense and by Southwood. might be another shot clock violation. Nope, Demon um, gets it up. Ooh, ooh, just misses. And an offensive rebound. <laughs> All right, what seemed like a very <laughs> dire situation actually turned into something. Well, basically, Frontier can huck anything up at the basket, and they're going to get the offensive rebound. Yeah, until that stops happening. Southwick is at a severe disadvantage. But still only down three here. We haven't been keeping the rebounding stat so far this game, but it is obvious enough what is going on on the court. Oh, yeah, a blind man could tell that Frontier <laughs> is just dominating this Southwick team on the defensive and offensive boards. I mean, they would have to just listen to the, where the ball keeps bouncing. Really. Yeah. Here comes Shay. And the groans from the south oh, bench. Oh, great hustle play by Boyden. Mm -hmm. Laying out to stop that. You know what that reminded me of? Stefan Gilmore of the Patriots. Oh, yeah. With Tapping his the ball away. Last second. Yep. Fully outstretched. Southwick gets it in. Very reminiscent of that play. Southwick gets the ball off the ground. That's a turnover. Demon looking to go on the Demon. transition. Walker gets it over to Dean. Back to Walker. And, and it'll turnover. go and to might something should be called. I cannot believe they called a jump ball. Dean didn't have a hand on the ball. I mean, what, what is going on? He might have been preparing <laughs> for the uh, potential jump ball. You can't anticipate, <laughs> Karsten. <laughs> she was just laying on the ground with the ball. I just can't even understand what, what just happened. <laughs> I can't comprehend it. Easy bucket for number 22. That's Caroline Clark, the senior big woman. And an offensive rebound. I mean, uh, we got girls just lying on the ground. I mean, we can't talk about it much more than we have, but the rebounding situation out here, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And I think you got to give Frontier a lot of credit, but I think you also got to look at Southwick and say that they're not doing everything they can to box out. Yeah, I mean, Frontier seems to have the height advantage, but Alex, if I've said it before, <laughs> yeah, heart <laughs> over height. <laughs> exactly. There's Olivia Dean. Dribbling in. She's got her sister Dean wide open, open on the corner. She wants it. That's four. That's money. And that was much needed as it was only a two-point game, stretching that back to a five-point lead. Oh, and here's the open look on the corner. No answer. Mm -mm. Shea has been putting up threes all night, but... Oh, nice pump fake by Demon. Gets him to the lane. Up and no good, but offensive rebound. Yep, Boyden, uh, but falling out of bounds. Ooh, nice full court pass. So basically, Southwick, they need a turnover or a made basket to get the ball back. Pretty much. That seems to be the only way. They'll get a foul call there. Frontier second of the half. That is the second foul on number 20, which is Marie Demon. Yeah. And she'll be coming off. So not serious foul trouble, but definitely something to keep an eye on. A little shuffling of feet. Southwick looking inside, nothing. Ooh, desperate heave, almost goes in, and they get the rebound. 
and a foul call on Frontier. And now Mark Sanderson is yelling about the lack of box outs from his team. Be on Dean, her first, team's third. First shot is up and good. And middle schooler Hannah Burke heading to the line. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good future ahead of her. Very composed there at the line. Like you said, only an eighth grader. Mm -hmm. Playing among, amongst the experienced. Yeah, a lot of energy on a right. defensive and offensive end from her. There's Speth going into her left side like she loves. Ooh. There's Dean over to Olivia Dean. Best open. Best with That's it again. Where I, that's where I think and she now can. They're looking up. Will the pass be a little too hard? Yes, it will. Good idea by Southwick. On that earlier possession, that's where I think Spath can take the. Yeah, like Mar like Sanderson just yelled, turn and look, don't turn and dribble. And sometimes she can just turn and shoot. Yeah, she gets it in there with a lot of space. Yeah. Walker, Walker. Sure. there we go. Her and third three of the night, and it goes in. Now a six-point lead. Good rebound by Southwick, and that's the and one. Speth just getting her hand caught in there. A quick answer for that Frontier 3, and Sanderson is not pleased. Calls a quick timeout. Yeah, Frontier seem to be finally running away with it, but... They could be an upset alert here. Southwick's just been hanging around all day. Yep, Frontier really hasn't taken advantage and uh, escaped yet. Sanderson has not been pleased the last couple possessions on the offensive and defensive end. No, he knows, he knows his girls should not be in the position they are in now. But you also have to think also for Southwick. If they could just get a few rebounds and, st and limit the second chance opportunities for Frontier, they'd be up maybe double digits in this game. They've increased the rebounding uh, a little bit, but not enough. That's not saying much. A yeah, bit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the offensive end. The defensive end is still just as horrific as it was before. But they are going to the line with a chance to make this a one-possession game. It's... 30-26 right now with just under three minutes to go in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can imagine Frontier with only one shot opportunity per possession. The situation they would be in if that was the case, I'd say that they have 10 or 12 less points than they do right now. Yeah. Shot is up. No good off the front rim. There's a rebound, though. Oh, and she misses. Misses again. Those are the opportunities you don't want to squander. No. Wide open down low. Two times in a row. Here's Dean. Dean looking into Elodine. Over to Walker. Gets and it down low. Good look inside to Speth. There's the pull up jumper. Yeah. And they get a rebound. <laughs> now, that was a nice look inside. Here comes Southwick. Quick pump fake. Ooh, and three contacts. Nails the shot. Able to finish. And we've got ourselves a two-point game here. Yeah, in the third quarter, winding down nearly the last stanza of this epic tonight. <laughs> yeah, just about two minutes to go here in the third. There's Dean. Gets over to Dean. And Dean with a wide open shot. I Just think off back room. Offensively for the Red Hawks, they might want to do more to try to free up senior guard Ella Dean. I mean, already four threes tonight. Mm, she's got the hot hand for sure. Definitely a bit of a momentum shift here. Yeah, Southwick with a chance to tie it up for the first time all night. But good defense by Dean will squash that attempt. Kalen Evans up in the crowd, not looking pleased. All of his halftime points that he said Frontier had to had to follow. They're not really following right now. Yeah, I'm here sure comes he's Walker. Over to Demon. Here she comes. She'll see Dean in the corner. 
Oh, Dean well takes done. it all the way. Left hand. Oh, just missed. And he wants that one back. Look out. That was a great drive by Dean. Just missed. Mm -hmm. Good job turning down the shot and finding a way to the hoop. They're doing a bit of a weave, but they're a little too far out to do much damage. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're just going through the motions. And yeah. Here comes Walker. Demon on the wing, looking down low. Clark not happy with it, and she will leave as that is her third. The senior, uh, big down low. Demon dribbles baseline. Sobieski with a nice mid range, and there we go. Good looking pull up jumper right there. That'll be four for her on the night. Here comes Southwick. Southwick getting more of their points down low this half. Might be looking for a three here though. Going baseline, and she's going to get the foul call. And this will be a good chance to get within a one possession game before the break. She might have been bailed out right there. Might not have been a great looking shot, but no. She's going to the line for two. First one is up and good. And Olivia Dean will come in for Marie Demon. With 17 seconds left in the third. Here comes Dean. 10 seconds on the clock. Sobieski with that nice shot she likes. Ooh, just misses. Just off. And Frontier will have the last shot of the third quarter. The quickness of these jump ball whistles is really starting to get on my nerves. You've got to let them play it, play it out a little bit, I, I would say. Yeah, there must be some sustained contact by both parties for the jump ball. Here comes She's Boyden. She's got to get one up quick. Just misses, but she'll get the offensive board. But the time will run. So now Southwick a little bit closer than each of the quarters. Usually it's been a four or five point game. Yep. So Heading, they're, yeah, yeah, they're inching their way up there. We definitely got ourselves a ball game here. One thing to watch might be Frontier already has five fouls, so Southwick with three fouls heading into the final quarter. Mm -hmm. Southwick not doing a great job from the charity stripe, but if they turn that around, this game could certainly uh, close a lot faster. So in a close game like this, I'm sure both coaches are preaching focus, intensity, all the intangibles. Mm -hmm. Things they can control. Yeah. Southwick might look to get hot from beyond the arc again. That sustained their offense during the first quarter. Yeah, Southwick going with a quite a different lineup than they started with in the first quarter, in this fourth quarter now. Ball is inbounding. Ariana Walker stares her down. Ooh, double screen. Works effectively. There's She'll three. take the deep shot. Just not enough arc. Dean looking to push it a little bit, but it'll get slowed down. He's back in that half court set. And a hard fall by Sobieski. Yeah, so far this game, we haven't seen much of that pushing the ball. We might see that in the fourth quarter though. As they, as they tend to get tired, we might also see some full court pressure. 
I don't know how each team would be able to handle that, but. Ooh, that's off Dean. Saves it. Southwick. Heading to the hoop, she'll pick up the foul. Definitely a foul. Got some body on that. A good foul, though. You don't want to let him get a content easy layup. Yep. Just unlucky on that tip. Very annoying when you're uh, expecting a pass and it moves an inch at the last second. First one is no good. And the second is no good either. A missed opportunity there for Southwick. Yeah. Every point matters at this point for them. Another turnover by Frontier. That's two possessions in a row. Southwick looking long, but not the right decision. Yeah, turnovers have haunted Frontier so far in this one. That's the shot. And it's, it's a good. tie game here in by Goodnow Gymnasium. Tie ball game. This is what you dream about if you're a big time player. Oh yeah, seven minutes left in the fourth. Anybody's game right now. That's McKenna Leary, her third three of the game. And both teams seem to be picking it up a little now. Yeah, Frontier with a new sense of urgency. There's Sobieski, no good, rebound Southwick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good take to the hoop, but too strong off the glass. And Sanderson looking a little nervous now. Southwick at four and six. This would be a big resume win for them. Here comes Dean. Might want to start looking for her own shot a little more. She's been on fire so far today. There's Sobieski. Sobieski's going to take it in take again. It and and one. one. Right when they need it. That's a big time play right there by only a freshman. Great future ahead for this Red Hawks team with these young players. Demon will come in for Walker. And two subs will come in for Southwick as well. This is a big foul shot. And it's no good. But there's gonna be a violation. Huh. Yeah, I, I think there's definitely a violation there. And you know, I'm interested by uh, Olivia Dean's approach. Boxing out. And I see how it could work. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? We've all got our, our own techniques. Yeah, and Frontier really giving a gift with that one, able to go up by three instead of two. Yeah, those, those are the types of plays and things that might haunt you in, at the end of a close game if you're Southwick. Taking a baseline. Yeah, trying to take it in. Uh, two shots down low, can't sink either of them. They've had a number of those. And There's good pull Dean. up by Dean. Oof, no good. What was that? Was that an offensive rebound? No, no, nobody <laughs> trying to keep Speth off the boards, and she's just able to easily catch it and put it right back up and go to the line for two. I mean, the lack of rebounding tonight for the Southwick, that's got to be the story. And just, and just when the game was starting to look totally open for Southwick, they were letting it slip away again. Yeah, with Frontier going to the line, a five-point lead seems seems pretty mighty here. Yeah, fourth quarter winding down. But we've seen him knock down threes, so a couple quick trays and everything changes, I suppose. Yes. And playing a smart ball for the remainder of this game is really all they can hope for right now. Definitely. Got to be patient on the offensive end. You can't take wild shots just because you're down. And you definitely can't take wild shots if you're up. So Spess going to the line for two. With a chance to make this a two possession game. First one is up. No good off the front of the rim. 
Maybe some fatigue there. Yeah, Speth playing uh, both her minutes tonight. Yeah, she's played well. Dominated the glass. Very really good left hand. Yeah, she's really helped out with her mm -hmm. high post presence. And there's an offensive rebound for Alexa Boyden. Yep, Boyden just <laughs> easily just walking to the middle of the paint and picking that one right off the rim. I mean, it's as if there's no Southwood players out there. And they've got to get those turnovers if they want to get the ball. Yeah, there's 50-50 balls. There's Demon for three. Demon no uh, good. still off, but another offensive board by Dean, and she'll go to the line for two. I mean, if you're Southwick, I don't see why you would do anything else in practice except for work on rebounding. It's been that atrocious tonight. And sometimes we like to sugarcoat these things, but at a certain point, you just guys like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, they want nothing more than for this possession to be over, but Frontier not taking advantage of that. Yeah. With their free throws. I mean, it's been a three point game for quite a bit now. Yeah, they've had a chance to kind of put this one out of reach, but I'm sure they'll get the offensive rebound if it doesn't go. But it does. Luckily for Southwick, <laughs> preventing possibly two points. <laughs> so it's a four point deficit. Southwick inbounds the ball. Five minutes to go. Crowd starting to get a little animated on both sides. There's the post touch. And that's a turnover for Southwick. Mm, Shade trying to force it down low. Here comes and Demon. Demon will go right to the hoop. No good. Luckily for Southwick. Bounces off Aladine's back. Southwick needs to be patient on this one. They don't need anything so soon, but they need something. And they got the cut to the top. And there's a the travel. But still, only a four point game. It seems like Frontier's in control. There's Spath with the pull up jumper. No good. Rebound Frontier. But she does a great job following her shot. And there's a turnover. And there's a turnover. And they're going to give it right back. Double dribble. And I think number two on Southwick, Daly, thought that it had been tipped away, but the ref thought otherwise. Yeah. Just under four and a half minutes to go. There's Speth over to Dean. Dean with the outside look. Good looking shot. And it falls. There we go. 14 points for Dean now on the night. If I were them, I would have gotten them more, gotten her more involved throughout the game. Now a six-point deficit, and four minutes left in the game. Southwick needs something. Ooh, oh, no good. Good Back rebound. Down. Into rebound. Good. Oh, another travel. There has been a lot of walking on the floor tonight. Yes. And there's Demon looking for it in the corner. Walker collects. A little more pressure now from South D. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Oh, Dean with a nice hesitation. Gets it up. No good. Rebound, Frontier. Fresh shot clock for them. Don't need anything so soon. Let the clock wind down a little bit. And not Demon sure. will head to the line. I'm really not sure where the foul was on that. Yeah. Ooh. Player had her hands up. It's got to be so frustrating as a Southwick player and as a coach to see them just get offensive rebound after offensive rebound. Yeah, I can't blame that on anybody but the players. Yeah, and it, it hasn't been one individual either tonight. It's been a, it's been a group problem. But also, you've got to give some credit to Frontier crashing the boards. Yeah, they got one through five crashing the boards every single time. 
There's a rebound. Southwark with 10 on the clock. Looking inside. We'll be heading for the line for two. That's number 22, Caroline Clark. First one is no good. They need them now more than ever. And that was nothing but net. Six point game here. Here comes Walker. Taking it slow. Yeah, that was a lot. Gets it into Boyden. Southwick coach not happy with that call. No, he's seeing travels. They'll be heading to the line for one and one as it is Southwick's eighth team foul. So two more and it'll be two shots for every foul. And Olivia Dean will come in for Demon with 2.30 left in this ball game. Boyden. First shot is up. And no good. And Southwick, Southwick just there to get the board. Southwick looking oh. inside. We'll get a three here. Able to keep possession. Just missed. Oh, but good board. Back out, another three. That one's good. There we go. Shea hitting it when it matters. A big three there, coming off the offensive rebound. Changing momentum. It's 39-36, you wonder, maybe Southwick will put some pressure on him now. Haven't seen it so far tonight, but with only two minutes 16 remaining. Definitely a big shot there and cuts Frontier's lead in half. And the, another storyline might be the lack of execution at the free throw line here for Frontier. And they've had a couple opportunities to really pad their lead and they've failed to execute at the line. Mm -hmm. And now a three point game, I mean, they're totally back in it after looking at a seven point deficit not so long ago. No doubt. It looks like they will elect not to put any pressure on the front here. Big possession here for the Red Hawks. Yep, and for the Rams. Dean dribbles over to Walker. Over to Olivia Dean. Ooh. Oh, not what they need wow. right now. You know, I think Frontier's gotta, gotta play through Ella Dean right now. She's been the scorer all night for them. She's, she protects the ball well, handles it well, creates opportunities for her teammates. I'd like to see her control the offense right now. Mm, offense definitely looks best when it's going through her. Demon will check in for Olivia Dean. Mm, these two interchanging all night long. Here comes the inbounds. Oh, they toss it up. Nice play. No good, oh. though. Another very good opportunity for Southwick, but they miss. Yeah, great pass. Yeah, good idea. Just a lack of execution there. There's Dean, crossbar pass to Demon. Drew is right by. Right, that's a turnover. It's been a storyline. Now Southwick's gonna go to the hoop. More missed opportunities for Southwick. Now being over the back on Caroline Clark. And they'll be heading to the line for two. Turnovers have definitely been a storyline here. Luckily you've got 
for both teams. Yeah, heading to the line. Yeah, that's the person they want there. It's going to be two shots now, so. Two consecutive looks for Frontier, though. Just, I mean, for Southwick. Here comes the first shot. It's up. Ah. Off the back of the rim. Keeping Southwick in the game here. Yeah. Southwick needs a good rebounding effort here. Dropping them down in the second. Here comes Southwick. Ooh, they're gonna get a three here. Short. Rebound by Boyden. Great board. Uh, yeah, about a minute left. Yep. Definitely want to take your time if you're Frontier here. Yep, they don't need anything fast. Get to the Boyden. Travel. They call it travel. Boyden's not too happy with that one. Here they come. Just under a minute to go now. The crowd's getting getting hyped. No good. High off the glass. And they're going to call and it a jump ball. ball. Sanderson wants a foul. There's Speth over to Dean. Might be time for Southwick to foul down four here, but they're electing to play it out. Interesting decision there. Especially with the lack of foul shooting success for Frontier. There's Dean. Ooh, just misses. Now they're running. Here comes Southwick. 15 left, they need a three. And that'll end the game. Offensive foul there. Dean pounds the floor with excitement. <laughs> Southwick coach not pleased with that call. Didn't think Dean was set. And yeah, you said that'll end the game. Not sure, 100%, but definitely makes it seem a little yeah, we haven't out seen of reach. Southwick with the uh, capability to really do something so amazing as what would be required right now, but <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, I'd say both teams have not played their best game tonight. I mean, it's finals week. Oh, yeah, you got to take into account that. It's I mean, on everybody's minds, yeah. yeah. So Southwick's out in the court. Frontier taking their time. First buzzer sounds. So presumably they're gonna foul, or look, maybe look for a trap and then foul. Probably don't wanna foul Dean if you're Southwick, the best shooter. And they're gonna get it into Speth. Not gonna foul. Oh, oh, oh. They get the ball. Uh, too much time being wasted on that one possession. Yep. <laughs> they need a quick shot now and then a steal or a quick foul. It's but a lot of really quick stuff. <laughs> yeah, they got to get a shot up there. Yeah, yeah that'll, all right. be that'll be it. Good win by the Hawks. Yeah, Frontier moves to, not, moves to nine and three on the season. Southwick drops to four and seven. We'll be back for the post-game report in a few minutes. Mm -hmm.
Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Hello and welcome to yeah. the post-game report. A lot sooner than we had anticipated, but... <laughs> Uh, so we have Ella Dean leading all scorers with uh, how many points? 14? 15. 15, maybe. yeah. 15, 15 with the free throw. Shot. Yeah, she led them in all sorts of ways. On the defensive end, took care of the ball on the offensive end, got them into their sets. Yeah, and really then, just having the whole offense run through her tonight. Yeah, she obviously hit the shots too. Uh, Southwick was, they had some great three pointers all night, but lack of rebounding and a bit of a lack of execution, just doomed them down the stretch. Although Frontier had a, a, bit of a bit of an issue with turnovers as well and probably could have won this game by a lot more than four points. Yeah, they really did not show that they were the better team by that much tonight. Looking at the scoreboard, and Southwark really able to stay in the game the entire time when Frontier had lots of opportunities to shut them out in the first, second, and third quarter. Yeah, so with that, thank you for tuning in to FCAT's broadcast. Uh, make sure to check them out on YouTube. A lot of great stuff on there from around the four towns, Sunderland, Conway, Deerfield, Waitley. Yeah, we've got a great, talented staff behind us giving you these wonderful games and amazing quality. So I'm Alex. And I'm Karsten. And we're signing off. Good night. <laughs>